Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am David W. Parker, and welcome to another OpenGL screencast. Today, we will be talking about fog. Um, to be perfectly honest, this is the first time I've done anything with fog in OpenGL, so uh, I will talk about what I can, and then we will uh, go ahead and show you the different flavors of fog in OpenGL, and you can play around with it in your projects. So first, let's just show it to you. Um, uh, we can, I guess, just run it. I've already made the project. So we have a uh, just a OpenGL cube already made. We are in one of the three fog modes. We have a density of three, and we have the red on right now. So uh, there's three different fog modes: GL EXP, GL EXP2, and GL linear. Um, the fog is given a color, and in this particular case, we are uh, using a color of gray. So that's why it looks. Um, gray as far as the background goes and um, I just have it set up so you can turn our uh, red green and blue off on the the cube itself so you can just kind of see how fog affects it so let's just take a look at the code uh, fog mode like I said is one of those three the density I have it set to 0.3 at the beginning and here's the color again it's uh, gray uh, with uh, uh, the opacity of set to 1 uh, and this is just a string that says what the fog mode is for output, and then red is currently on. So that's it for globals. Same thing for our screencast X turn for each of those. And so let's uh, dig in real quick here. So um, still kind of messing around with having few fewest number of files for you guys, uh, just trying to make it easier to read. Um, and you can clean it out and, and put it in different files yourself. Uh, so. Uh, looking at this, we're going to enable fog in here. We're going to set the color of the fog. And you may even want to change it so you can play with the color like I did th with the cube. And just like the others, you can actually send to set a hint um, in older versions of OpenGL as far as the fog. And I just said this to don't care. Um, and let's work our way down. Uh, currently setting it to EXP. This is just drawing the cube, and it can actually rotate the cube too. I, I just put that in there uh, really easy. We draw the solid cube. You can increase and decrease the density of the fog with uh, by pressing 1 and 2. Turn on and off uh, RGB by pressing RG or B. And then changing F changes the mode of the fog, which you already saw. Um, rotating the cube is just a matter of up and down, left and right and then we actually do our display. So there's a lot on fog actually in the red book and I take a, take a look at it. Um, the main thing is you have the fog mode which is to these three and they actually have the formulas, the math formulas that they use on the uh, on those equations on the this link that I have above. And it's really interesting. You should take a look at that, read through it. It's cool math so uh, have fun with that. Uh, the density uh, we actually have fog start and fog end as well that we can set, and they default to 1, 0, and 1. So I have it set to point, uh, 0.3 for the density, which normally defaults to 1. So that's pretty interesting to look at, and then I just display out uh, the RGB fog mode and the density. So that's really all it comes down to for this entire uh, screencast. So we'll take a look at that again, and you can just kind of see how it is. So. Uh, I personally prefer EXP2, um, just haven't played around with it for this particular uh, screencast. Like I said, I haven't used it in any of my projects. And I found that like somewhere between 0.3 and 0.25 is probably a really good amount of fog uh, for the density. Um, and it just really you know, depends on what, uh, what you have on as far as your, your colors look like and your, and your project looks like. So uh, the thing to remember is that uh, just like lighting, you're going to have to turn it on and off before and after uh, you draw things. So if I wanted one cube with fog and then another without, then I would make sure to uh, turn it off beforehand. So actually, let's let's code on the fly real quick and see what that looks like. So if I do uh, uh, disable gl fog make yeah, see there's no fog now. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it all, all boils down to uh, if I... Coding on the fly is never a good thing, so this is just, uh, just what I'm doing, sorry. And that's it, I mean, 
this have put the cubes on there. So it's kind of funny. So that's yeah, that's the. Uh, and since it's uh, turned on and off, we want to actually just do this. Do gl. So you can see one of them has the fog on and one doesn't. It's kind of weird. I mean, you'll have to play with it, experiment with it. Um, and uh, you can see the, the density changing on that one versus the other that it's not changing on. So you can't really see it too, uh, too well just because of the other cube inside of it. But you can see this one has it on, this one has it off. So that's coding on the fly too. So I uh, hope you guys do well. Um, Enjoy the screencast, and I will talk to you later.